My name is Diala Hawila. I come from a village in Lebanon. It's a lot of green, clean air, nice nature. So while growing up, I always had a passion for the environment. I first heard about the Mustard Initiative back in 2007. It was being built 23 kilometers outside of Abu Dhabi. And out here in the desert, we have one of the most extreme climates in the world. And so for me, it was exciting to come to a country at a time when they are focusing their efforts on renewable energy. In 2006, the wise leadership of Abu Dhabi have established Masdar as a company that would be basically championing the uh, sustainability agenda of Abu Dhabi. The purpose was to create a model on how sustainable urban growth should look like in the future, not only for Abu Dhabi and the UAE, but for the whole world. Basically gathering all the technologies existed around the world to push that sustainability agenda forward. Mustar City is in size, it's a six square kilometer that meant to be hosting 40,000 people once it's fully built. The main vision is creating a sort of an ecosystem that can continuously work on finding out what future technologies require in order to create a decent life and improve the quality for people who would be living in such complete sustainable communities. By the time I went to what was then Mustard Institute to do my master's, it was just a block of a few buildings with nothing around us. But still it was very exciting for the students who were living there because it was a living laboratory. So the whole initiative is to design it in a way that makes the citizens comfortable while being sustainable, while reducing the consumption of energy and water and also reducing waste. Living in Mustard City was like a dream come true. So the city has changed a lot since I was a student and now I'm working in the International Renewable Energy Agency. I actually joined Woods Baggett to lead the design of the Irina headquarters. So for me, it was a real privilege. Our ethos is people architecture. We follow an empathetic design approach where the values of design and the values of the users are one and the same. We also place sustainability, the very core in terms of everything that we do. One thing we're not short of in this part of the world is daylight, but it's how you control and use that daylight and also the trade-off with energy use. So there's a lot of complex modeling that went in to really optimize this building and make it what it is today. To us, it was important that the architectural language wasn't perceived to be something that was imported. We wanted it to be something that was of the place as well, that resonated with the context. In terms of the form of the building, it's developed on an equilateral triangle. So three very efficient floor plates centered around a fantastic seven-story atrium. One of the real special places in the building for me is the staircases. At the intersection of the three triangular floor plates, we have these feature stairs. And for us, it was about really trying to communicate the importance of wellness and that human experience. The arena building is designed and done in a way that is very comfortable for the users. It has a lot of technology. It is a smart building. There's a lot of light, there's a lot of space. The air that is clean keeps on getting renewed. It's a low energy building. It uses around 42% less energy than a comparable building. It also uses about 50% of the water demand. In this part of the world, water is a very precious commodity. The Arena headquarters realizes the challenge of developing a highly sustainable, commercially viable, exemplar office headquarters building in the challenging climate of the UAE. What I love about this place is that you never stop learning. Every project creates a new challenge and we're always trying to improve, striving to attain that next level. So I'm very excited about the next chapter in our journey with Mazda. Arena HQ is going through a phase where we will be developing all the areas around it to get into place the idea of the people-centric approach, the idea that this is a walkable city. The different types of buildings will come together, creating compact walkways, compact streets, allow the buildings to protect and create a shaded spaces to allow people to connect from the Arena HQ to other parts of Mazda City. In every new development, we continue this theme of building a place for people. Sustainable design and green building practice is very, very important. We have to make sure that sustainable design embraces the commercial world of development. 
and also vice versa. And only in this way are we able to globally combat the negative effects of climate change. And as architects, we have a responsibility to create a resilient legacy. We have to ensure that everything we're doing, everything we're designing has a social conscience. Mazda City, being the sort of forward-thinking entity that it is, had reached out to eCar, brought on board the concept of bringing the very first electric car sharing to the Middle East. And it was a super exciting project for us to work in collaboration with Mazda. Of course, Mazda, with their vision um, of being a sustainable city and focused on environmental stewardship. It was a natural fit for us to bring on board the world's very first pay per minute Tesla car share. eCar is the Middle East's first and largest car sharing operator. So we provide a network of vehicles, removing the need to own your own car. You can share a collective pool of cars. Not only are we reducing carbon footprint by sharing vehicles, the goal of eCar is to have at least 5% of our fleet in 2020 to be electric. Welcome to Mazda City, the city of possibilities. A daring and evolutionary journey to build the world's most advanced and sustainable community. A city we are shaping with an eye for a better future. Mazda City is centrally and strategically located next to Abu Dhabi Airport, from where major international markets can be reached within hours. The city is built using traditional Arabic architecture, combined with modern technology and design. Narrow walkways capture the wind and provide shade, making the perceived temperature 10 degrees cooler in Mazda City than elsewhere in Abu Dhabi, encouraging a healthy and comfortable lifestyle, where everything is within walking distance. The buildings are powered by clean energy, constructed using green building materials and designed to reduce energy and water consumption by 40%. This modern work-life space is made possible by the forward-thinking approach in designing every detail of Mazda City, making it the green print for cities across the world. But this is just the beginning. Mazda City will grow one neighborhood at a time, adding new businesses, schools, restaurants, apartments, and so much more. Eventually, over 90,000 people will live and work in the city. Throughout the expansion, residential, cultural and commercial areas will be interwoven with parks and a wide variety of services and amenities. Residents and visitors can leave their cars behind and enjoy the open and pedestrian-friendly neighborhoods. 
integrated clean and smart transportation systems, including a fleet of electric vehicles and driverless cars, keep the city accessible and livable as it grows. Mazda City is a vibrant place. It brings together a diverse range of tenants and professionals, creating a unique business climate. The city is a free zone that welcomes companies both large and small. With the Mazda Institute of Science and Technology at the city's core, they can count on highly skilled graduates and opportunities for research partnerships. When we set up our company, it was as simple as one, two, three, three steps and five days. That's all it took to start up in Mazda City. Office space is immediately available and taxes and import tariffs are non-existent. Setting up our company in Mazda City gave us a competitive edge in the Emirates and around the globe. Join us and the many other companies who have chosen Mother City to be the home of their business. We are here today to celebrate the soft launching of the uh, PRT expansion. So the deal with uh, our partner Navia to start with one uh, vehicle and this will be expanded to uh, have more than seven vehicles and we will uh, tap in more and more as we grow. Of this vision that what's going to be the future uh, of a smart and sustainable city here in Mazda.